James Wildman, now at Trinity Mirror. You've only been there a couple of months. New boy. Um, new boy. But um, just listen to you on a panel. I uh, seem to have a genuine passion for uh, newspapers, news brands, yes. um, and a culture, especially in this country, for journalism. Um, but how can news brands um, stay profitable, perhaps, in, in a multi-platform world? Because things seem difficult now, but print's declining. Um, but and advertising has been such a strong model for so long. What sh what's Trinity doing, and okay. what are news brands more generally doing? Okay, David, there was a lot of questions in that in that in that one <laughs> question wrapped it's up. It's a big subject. But it is a very big subject, and obviously we're all um, we're all wrestling with long-term structural challenges to our businesses uh, that manifest in di diminishing, slow but sure diminishing um, circulation revenues. Uh, I mean, it, the business is in rude health, uh, as certainly is. Um, advertising will remain absolutely key to all that we do. Uh, in terms of the circulation numbers, I mean, ours are holding up very, very well. Uh, we actually lost only 1% of circulation revenue in the last year. So I think some of the, uh, some of the comments about our, you know, of our imminent um, downfall are overstated, for sure. But in terms of advertising, I think we're all wrestling with how do we best monetize our audiences that are ever, quick, ever more quickly moving online. And you know, the simple fact is we now have a bigger reach, we have more people that come and engage with our brands, and you know, these are incumbent, trusted brands that have been around for an awful long time and will remain in the public you know, hearts and minds for, for, you know, forever in our view. But you know, with that larger reach that digital obviously enables, how do we best monetize those audiences and that that comes down to various commercial models uh, around the tablet versions um, you know e-editions for example um, pay models but also advertising as well and uh, that sector is evolving so so quickly we are having to evolve you know and innovate just as quickly within that and arguably we started a little late um, we've come an enormous long way in a very short space of time as Trinity Mirror, but I think as a, as a sector we have also. Um, but just speaking for Trinity Mirror for a second, you know, the fact that we now have 15 million unique users according to Comscore just in the UK and 80 million globally um, in a very, very short space of time gives us enormous positivity around you know, the, the opportunities ahead of us. Um, I understand that reach is growing, but yes. what's getting smaller are screen sizes and um, the yes. way that we engage with news. As we enter sort of that multi-platform way and uh, as I read my news on the train on a tablet because it's easier, because it's like a tin of sardines in there, but how, I mean, do publishers have um, a way of keeping advertisers happy um, on that sort of, in, in that multi-channel world, especially when the screens are getting so small and the ads surely become less effective? Well, we're, we're, all, we're all working on, you know, every publisher in the world, is unless you're Facebook, of course, who are doing very well because their, their mobile advertising proposition isn't that dissimilar from their from their PC their, their um, desktop version but certainly for us you know we've, we've built our proposition on high impact large formats which don't easily transition to the mobile platform and given that that's what you know mobile is what's driving significant growth we need to work this through it's probably going to evolve into more of a stream based um, delivery, uh, you know, uh, playing to the snacking tendencies of consumers via their mobile. You know, people just dipping in for five minutes, quick fix of sport or news or celebrity, uh, and then dipping out again. You know, on the move uh, and mobile. So, I think we're we're in the whilst the whilst the time spent on mobile devices is huge, we're actually only in the foothills of the developments that I think will come from an advertising point of view over the next few years. Okay, Trinity Mirror has some very long-standing brands. Are you worried about the likes of BuzzFeed? BuzzFeed's an interesting model. Um, it's a disruptor for sure. Digital has transformed the landscape for all media companies, uh, not just news brands, but you know across the, um, the wider industry. BuzzFeed's really, really interesting. Um, a little while ago, uh, they, were the, they were the upstart now they're hiring some of the better journalists from the incumbents. It's very interesting, and they're polarising their uh, proposition. So it's very lowbrow, you know, 
cats, for example, but it's, uh, it's remarkable lowbrow, and increasingly they're moving into the highbrow space as well. So I think BuzzFeed's a fabulous um, model, and you know, I think we'll all learn from their success, the ability to create news more cheaply than traditional news providers who have all the infrastructure costs and you know paper and ink costs sure. is 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 very very different and uh, certainly we're all you know we're all going to have to move increasingly towards that a similar model and uh, finally then what sort of innovations do uh, do news brands more generally but i'll let you use trinity mirror as a case study um, need to sort of implement and in, in to sort of ensure they have a, a healthy bright future well, it's all about innovation. No one can stand still, and I think we, you know, we, we're coming to a market which is incredibly dynamic. Um, we've our, our incumbency, the fact that we have such trusted and established brands, you know, both at a national and a local level, uh, it gives us a fantastic foundation upon which to build. But of course, yes, we need to we need to innovate, and that innovation is all going to be technologically enabled. So that whether that's formats, whether that's delivery, whether that's you know the, the ability, increasing ability for users to you know access our content our content on ever more devices in ever more environments and mood states and etc. is where I think the future is particularly exciting. James Wildman, thank you very much. Thank you, David.